Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-month February reading, love reading. This is for February 15th to the, to, to the 28th. Last two weeks of February, what is going on with Virgo in love, in the area of love? Okay, we're going to go over a mutual energy between you, Virgo, and whoever you're dealing with in love. Okay, so we have the Moon card upright. So this represents um, uh, emotion, first, first and foremost. It represents um, intense emotions. Um, both of you might be in a very... Um, very sensitive right now. Um, this card also represents um, mystery, uh, secrets. Um, it can represent deception. Um, things being in the dark, because this card is kind of dark. Um, let me clarify that, Virgo. Yeah, Queen of Swords reverse. So deception or um, secrets, like I was saying, with the Queen of Swords reversed. Um, the truth being hidden. Um, feeling overwhelmed, emotionally overwhelmed. Let's go over your energy, Virgo. Your energy is the Eight of Wands reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. I'm sorry, the Eight of Wands upright and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So Virgo, I feel like with this Eight of Wands, you're wanting things to come quickly. You're... This could also mean a, a message, um, you receiving a message unexpectedly but with the ace of pentacles reverse i feel like it's not a message that you want to hear or it's not it's not the message that you were hoping for i feel like this represents something not manifesting something not not working out so for some of you you might have received a message from whoever you're dealing with in love um kind of uh, rejecting you in some way But with the moon card, it seems like they haven't given you any explanation, you know. You know, when you ask them why, um, they don't really have an answer for you. Um, or they do have an answer, they just are deciding not to, not to express the truth. To They're choosing to keep things a secret. They're choosing to be secretive. Um, but there is some sort of rejection here um, coming your way. Um, and it feels unexpected and it feels kind of uh, just spontaneous energy. Um, just out of the blue kind of energy. Let's go over the energy of whoever you're dealing with in love. Okay, so they have the Three of Swords reversed and the Ten of Swords upright. Yeah, so for some of you, this is a third party situation. They're still healing from an ex or from some, somebody else that they have in their lives that um, that they were connected to in love. Um, they're trying to put an end to that relationship or to that connection, but um, it's been a struggle for them, you know. With this three of swords reverse, it feels like to me it feels like um, they've tried, but they they just they haven't been able to 
successfully um, move past this other situation that they have or, or move, move past this other person they're still um, grieving they're still vulnerable or they're not grieving they're still like um, for, some of, for some of you this person has just recently um, cut off a relationship with someone so it's still kind of new you know the the wounds are still um, fresh I want to say like you see here in this picture um, with the wounds that uh, um, this person has on their back it's they're still fresh you know um, they haven't sealed yet and so I feel like this person is um, they can be keeping this a secret with the root card um, that they're still talking with somebody else they're still um, communicating or um, sharing with somebody else and it's still in the process of ending either it has ended already or it's in the process of ending um, but this might be why you have the ace of pentacles reversed on a sort of rejection from this coming from this person so let's see the overall outcome for the month of February last two weeks for Virgo so four of Pentacles the magician reversed three of Pentacles and the ten of cups reversed Okay, Virgo, so I feel like you do want, with the Four of Pentacles, you want something stable, you want something secure, um, um, I feel like you were looking, you were looking to have something stable with this person, um, but with the Magician Reverse, like I said, it's some, it's, something is not manifesting, um, at least just yet because with the three of pentacles i feel like um you know and the ten of cups reverse you're still wishing for this happily ever after with this person but this person is dealing with a per third third party there's a third party situation they're dealing with somebody else and um it's putting a block or a, a delay in your in your relationship with this person and in your happiness with this person um i kind of feel like they also are they also want this happiness and this happily ever after with you though i do feel that um i do feel like they do feel bad and they feel guilty for putting you in this position um but they just haven't been able to control themselves and um, they haven't been able to figure out the things that are going on in their lives and they they just need more time i feel to um to be stable within themselves so that they can offer you something stable because definitely with this moon card here I feel like both of you are feel very strong emotional connection with each other. Um, both both of you are invested emotionally to each other, uh, but this person just has to be more um, upfront with the truth. Um, because I feel like if they they were to be more upfront, I feel like you would be understanding. You know, you wouldn't like um, reject them or or abandon them. I feel like you would be understanding to their situation. So yeah, but for now there is no manifestation. I feel like it's just it's on hold. It's on it's on delay. This happily ever after with them. So yeah, Virgo. I this was your um, mid month reading. I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye Virgo.